Today's a really windy day. Seems like that's just been how every day is this time of year. So we're gonna try to stick to the creeks today to avoid the wind. Please don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe. My name is Houston and this is Buford SC Fishing. I offer a kayak fishing guide service where I'll take you to where the fish are, show you how to catch them. I plan everything with the weather and tides to make the best trip possible. You can either bring your own kayak if you have one, or I can provide one of these Hobie Outback pedal kayaks. So if you want to come out here and learn some kayak fishing with me, send me an email. I have my email on the screen right now, and it'll also be down in the description of this video. I think there's gonna be some fish but if I'm not careful I'm gonna be stuck in here because the tide is still going out and I barely made it this place is loaded with bait Come on, hit it. Right there. Oh my god, I hate when the fish are this picky. You can literally throw bait perfectly in their face and they won't eat it. Oh, there's so many of them back here. I think he's gonna hit it. There's a bunch of reds. Right after I added the probe here too. Not a bad one. This could be a slot fish too. I'll definitely get a measurement on it. The water's warm though, they just they fight so much harder than in the winter time. Come on. There we go. Z-Man that I just loaded up with Pro here. I'm guessing he's 24, 25 inches. Let's see. Twenty-four and a half. 
really cool, like just big dark spot. That's a 24 and a half inch red. Let them go and see if I can get some more. Hopefully I don't get trapped in this creek. Okay, so it really seemed like adding this pro cure was what it took to get these fish to bite. So I'm gonna add a bunch more before I cast again. So I'm on the water multiple days a week and not every fishing day ends up on YouTube. So for every day, I'm going to start writing a fishing report and they're going to be available only to Patreon members. So if you're interested in those fishing reports, sign up on my Patreon, on my Patreon link on the screen right now. Signing up there is going to get you access to the fishing reports and it really helps support this channel. So I'm going to explain how I'm working the lure this time of year, springtime basically just bouncing the lure on bottom just like usual I guess the only difference from winter is I'm definitely moving it a little bit faster just giving it more movement in general because the fish are just more active one of like the common mistakes around here with people that are throwing lures is that they're just they're reeling it too fast and every once in a while I'm also just pausing it just to let it get closer to the bottom if it's not close enough to the bottom because that's really important when you're throwing lures okay, i pretty much know that i'm stuck in here but let's see how badly i'm stuck just gotta look around this corner it's really really shallow that's for sure Watch this red. <laughs> okay, I'm now gonna attempt to get out of this creek with really low water where it's pretty much dried up. One of the things that I need to do is take the pedals out so I don't do any damage and then also lift the rudder up. And that's when you have to paddle and then it's very likely I'll have to like get out and walk, but we'll see. I'm really not afraid to scratch this kayak up by going over these oysters like this. If you did this with a boat, you'd just be stuck because you couldn't drag the boat over oysters. There's redfish here. started moving too fast and I threw it too close to him. Just the splash of the lure scared him off and ended up being right in front of his face but he got scared and definitely wouldn't eat it. So this is a trout trick by Z-Man and I want to explain a modification that I just made that I decided to try is I cut like about an inch off the front before I put it on the hook just to make it a little bit smaller 
we'll see if that makes any difference. Okay, I'm gonna not talk after I say this one thing, which is I think we're about to have some fun because there's an actively feeding fish up here. And he made a big splash, so I'm gonna be quiet and really focus. Look how many fish there are. <laughs> he smashed the fluid. I knew we were about to have a bunch of fun. As soon as I saw them being aggressive like that. I wasn't even trying to catch this one. I was sight casting at ones that are actually closer to me. Look at, the, look at that fish right in front of me. I was sight casting out to try to get the lure in front of the face of a different one. And this one grabs it instead. Look, look, so shallow that those big red fish are just sticking out of the water. This is a nice one. Oh yeah, this is a big fish. Come on. Now the problem is once you catch one of these, just the splashing this fish makes alone kind of scares the rest of them in this small of an area. We'll see if we can catch another one. That's a big fish though. Put up an amazing fight. Looking at the high 20s for this fish on the modified small version of the Z-Man trout trick. More big fish swimming in water so shallow that their heads start to stick out. Just at 28 inches. It's a nice big 28 inch redfish. Caught super shallow. I mean, and he just smashed the lure so aggressively. I really like when I find fish like this. Alright, we're gonna let him go and, and see if there's any more here that are gonna bite after he scared them all. There we go. Another one to bite. So many of them. Smaller one. That would be a, a nice size slot fish. Still a really fun fight. Trying to back off because these ones want to eat, so I don't want to spook them. Catch as many as we can. Dang, 
even the little ones just they really put up a fight. Look how blue the tail is. Yeah, we're looking at like a 19-20 incher. It's a good size to eat if you were keeping them, but I don't like to keep them or eat them. So here's my observation of why I think I got these fish to bite way faster and way easier here than at where I caught that first redfish. And it's because there's way less bait back here because when you spook the like the big mullet those big mullet also end up spooking the redfish and in that first spot where i caught a redfish there were tons of mullet and they were just going crazy and it definitely affected those redfish i think that's just an observation that i've made based on my experiences out here hooked a little flounder turned the camera off on accident just a tiny one Throw them back. Ooh, big, bigger fish than I thought. Yeah, that's a nice fish. go not a giant but a nice fish such a fun fight I think 24 inches I'm not gonna measure him but I'd say he's like slightly over slot Okay, today ended up being a pretty good day of fishing once we found some, some good redfish that would actually bite. It never gets old catching those big fish in the tiny creeks. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe.